the stock market is rigged, and we continue to print money on NVIDIA on Fridays. One contract of all of these bouncing bulls, one, two, three, $1,674. You buy and hold that thing until the end. You're getting $6,396. Look at this move up. I mean, you're just going straight up. No drawdown all the way to 945 That is tradability. That is easy. That is copy trading Wall Street. It's just like it doesn't get better or easier than that. And the craziest thing is this one right here is actually the easiest trade. That comes in 1534, we'll call it, four minutes after Robinhood gets closed out. So basically, if you're not familiar with how rigged the stock market may be, at 1530, Robinhood closes all the options that expire that day. So what happens? We go up, Robinhood, they buy calls, they get absolutely killed because you move down $10 from 945. Four minutes later, after they're out, look at this alert. 210 starting price, you're getting 815. A 3X essentially, buying and holding until the end, 20 something minutes. So you literally could have skipped all of this and caught a 3X here. And let's explain like why this is such a great setup, okay? We open, the volume's pretty low, okay? 10 a.m. when you get that notification, this is gonna be nightmare mode. Under 90%, typically very difficult to trade. And when we see it, because Wall Street knows, these guys know, here we are at 925, three strikes up, and the bears, the bears are trying it. They are trying it. But when we see this alert coming in, one, you got to be a little bit crazy to buy puts on NVIDIA at any point in time, regardless of what's happening. I guess March 8th was a good time. But it's still going up, right? You're looking at this. You're like, hey, 10, 20, we're late. Hey, this is still going up. Let's see what happens. And what you'll notice is volume just spikes this white line. And when we see that on the rig chart, basically it's an indicator that, hey, whatever direction price is going, we're going to continue that way. We're going to keep moving. We're going to go way beyond three. Because if you're at 50%, 935, and I mean, crossing 100 right here, 1057, as soon as we break that 110 threshold, look at it, we'll switch from normal to easy mode. This is going to go into effect next week. It actually broke our, uh, our app for maybe like 20 minutes today. So anyone who is on the uh, $20, 20 day trial, we gave you an extra day for free. So 30 minutes of downtime. Didn't miss any alerts right here. And guess what? You get an extra day. So going forward, that comes up, we want to chase it. Even though we're four up right now, we see the white line going and we're going to go until it stops. So even if you take this one right here, you're getting 212%. 212%. Amazing. I mean, we go strike higher here in the middle. I mean, look, look at all the bulls compared to bears. And what happens? You're still getting 100%. You're getting 100% here when you're like $40 higher already. Now, this is the interesting, tricky part, whatever you want to call it, and why option flow is so important if you want to trade options intraday. You want to do you know, swing trades longer, whatever. This is not for you. But if you want to trade same day, this is it. This is everything right here. We get to 945. You know, we opened at 910. One, two, three, four, five. If that does not push it, you're going to get crushed. 
I mean, this is late. Obviously, this is late, right? And you can see it. It's like clear, like, hey, the chart's breaking. We're so high up. If it does, I mean, it could keep going, but it doesn't. And option flow, option flow, option flow. Look, look at it switch, right? You get nothing but bulls, starts to come down, and all of the bears come in. 150%. 138%. That is what rigged is about. You can use any other tool, try it out there. Looking at all of those trades come in, and they come in fast, and trying to like process that in your brain and make it actionable is like nearly impossible. You try it, try it, try it. But like this is clear, right? I'm in here. If I'm still in calls at this point, it's like, okay, okay. If I'm still in calls at this point, dude, must be crazy. Must want to light that money on fire. Looking at the rest of the session, I mean, you see this, right? Pretend the rest of it's not there, and it's late, okay? We've moved down two strikes, and this is perfect because why? continues the initial move. And that's what we'll see on trend days. It's very common. This is the move, right? The move is higher. And you swing a little bit. Two strikes, $10 down, and then we continue that initial move. So like the most important thing, if you want to be a successful options trader, is capitalizing on days like today, where we get a trend and we close in that direction. Does it always happen? No, it doesn't always happen in high volume, high tradability, send it mode. But when it does, it's amazing. And we can look back at March 8th. This is a perfect example of exactly what I'm saying. What is the move here? Well, obviously, even more of a chart breaker, the move is down, okay? Who even knows how many strikes this is? This is crazy. So we go down all the way to here. You know, you see a little bit of a swing. And I guess we go a little bit higher, right? Let's look at it. You know, so we're at 870. We got one, two, three, four. But then what happens at the end? And what happens at the end? Well, we nuke. We continue that move lower. Look at this, Robinhood closed out. Oh my God, it's going higher, it's going higher. Nope, ending just above 875. So when we go back and look at today, okay, we're going higher, we're going higher. Boom, little bit of a swing the opposite direction, two strikes this time, and then close higher. That's the setup, that's high volume, that's tradability. It's rigged, like, look at this thing. Look at the score, 818, that's $800,000 in bullish premium. Calls bought, puts sold, who cares which one? There's like 20 something minutes left in the session. Do you think a trader is just YOLOing it, winging it? No. Absolutely not. They know. Wall Street knows. It's rigged. But you can copy trade them now with rigged AI, and it's clean. On days like this, high tradeability. I mean, this should say, send it down there. I mean, you're, you're getting it. And if you can't tell that this feels like a top, I mean, you can still be in this. We can trade this if you want. But you have to realize, like, dude, we're way up. And the beautiful thing is, like, it doesn't go higher. And all of the bears come in, kill any hope, get out of the trade. It's fine. And then catch this bad boy at the end. Whoo! 300%, 20-something minutes. That's it. That's what this is about. Congrats to everyone. Yellow Swagon's killing it. <sighs> Can't wait for next week.